It's crazy how many like comments. You know, I actually read like all the comments. I'm still that guy. Yo, what's going on? It's boy Jay, exhausted from another day of work. But I'm here and I got some cool stuff I want to show you that you don't see every day. I know you hear that a lot on YouTube and technically you could see it every day if you watched my video more than once a day, which would be appreciated. But you know how sometimes there's like players that are in the league and then they get like, they get to do stuff with Jordan or like Adidas or Puma or, or Reebok. I don't want to leave them out, so I, I brought up all the brands. But all the cool collabs happen with Adidas, Nike, Saucony, so on and so forth, right? Well, today I had two really dope shoes come into the store that you really don't see every day. Uh, these were player exclusives. They somehow made it to the shop and are in pretty good shape. Now, here's a wild thing about these. I hit one person up trying to get a better gauge of what market is for these and in the process of telling this said person hey how much are these worth in your opinion right because we do that we there's a lot of phone a friend in the world of sneakers when you're moving volume like this shops talk to other shops and while showing them they were like this is what they're worth I told that to the consigner consigner was like that's cool person that was like this is what the, they're worth it's like I want to buy them so I sold them before they even got in the store and it took me longer to put them in the system than it did for me to sell them so let's start with the first one less yapping more showing Gary Payton Jordan 19 want to say this is a Laker colorway I know I'm on the West Coast, so I'm supposed to be like, oh, that's pretty cool, it's Laker colors, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm not a Laker fan. Sorry if I disappointed any of you guys here today. But Laker 19, uh, Laker Jordan 19s with the GP and his number on the back. I guess these were comfortable to play in at some point. And this was like the best that Jordan had to offer. I remember back in the day, some people used to wear these without the, you know, they would, they would cut this off, you know, but the glove wore these. He's really a 12 and a half. Well, he didn't wear these particular, this particular pair, but this was his pair. Um, he, he's a 12 and a half, but he plays game worn stuff is size 13. So you can look in here, there's like promo samples. That's his playing size, right? And I mean, like, again, Laker colors, it's cool. Gumball, you've never seen these before. They're brand spanking. And then the other one, this one, now this one's pretty. This one, I, I gotta admit, I like this one a lot. I know it's hard for you guys to process that I said like and, the, and Jordan involved in what I'm saying I like. But these haven't been out of the box in a while because you could tell because of the dust that's going on here. Right, get a little dust off. What do you guys think these are? What do you think these are, Charlie? No clue. No clue. They're white and green. Did you just fart? Did you just rip one on me? So we're just gonna have awkward stare down right now, mm -hmm. and you're gonna just shake your head. Can't believe my camera guy just farted, man. GP, Jordan 13s. Not to be confused with Ray Allen 13s. These were made for Gary Payton. And they are mint. There's no separation. The, the bubbles are not fogged up. They're a little, I mean, they're a little, from the way that they were stored, uh, a little flat on the toe box. Uh, but they're really, really nice, man. I like these a lot. I like these. I actually like these a lot. What do you think about these, Charlie? Very nice. Very, very nice. So we sold these at 1500 and we sold these at 2400 which is pretty solid price on stuff you don't see every day. The 13 is one of those silhouettes where I like it. I just, I probably wouldn't wear it, but you know. 
that's a nice shoe so just be on the lookout because I'm gonna have more samples coming in here and there this is the start of hopefully a relationship with someone that's gonna allow us to showcase and sell a lot of uh, these player exclusives from time to time we get them in but I think with the relationship we just created uh, you're gonna start seeing a little bit more of this crazy stuff coming into the store and hopefully you guys will appreciate the shoes you don't see every day and and hopefully some game worn stuff coming down into the store um, in the meantime we've also posted and have shown merch for Hong Kong and Australia every color super limited only a hundred of each we're gonna be at these events whatever uh, doesn't sell out at these events which I think are gonna sell out because of the amount of foot traffic that's gonna be there if it if it doesn't sell out at the event we'll put them online I'm also going to be dropping new merch on jclopez.com I'm bringing back an old logo and I'm gonna put you guys up on a little secret for everyone that's like man Jay I missed out on this shirt I missed out on that shirt Sometime later this year, I will randomly drop every single shirt from every event that we've done or from the tour this year, all limited. We're just gonna do one more run and that'll be it. And you'll be able to get it on jclopez.com. So make sure to subscribe to that. Uh, put in, submit your email to that if you haven't already. Upload some content for me if you haven't. And what else is, what else is new? So we're going to, Hong Kong, we're going to Melbourne, we'll come back, it's Kaisa's pop-up, then the week after that it's uh, our three-year anniversary, then the week after that it's Atlanta, and then we chill for a week or two, and then it's Toronto, and then I come back for a little bit, and then it's Washington, D.C., and in between that, what else is going on? What, what else? Is that enough on the plate, or is there more? Is there more? You're laughing. What's, what's, what's more? There's more. There's more. There's got to be more. I'm just trying to think. I'm like, I'm, what, what else is more? What's more? What else is going on? There's nothing else going on? There's legit more. I can't fucking remember what the more was. Uh, well, when I figure it out, I'll get back to you and yap about it on another video. How about that? In the meantime, as always, I appreciate your support and paying attention to what we've been doing and thanks for helping me get to 88k hopefully by the time this video is up we're at 89k and the push for 100 is it's you think we can hit 100 before 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 like the end of the year yeah I think in a week in a week 100 geez this guy like that means oh the more tomorrow we are jumping on a helicopter you ready to roll with me yep let's yeah do it. we're gonna go on a helicopter and i'm gonna legit have my feet sticking out of the helicopter the entire time bro what shoes do you think i should wear because we're like we're going to boulder city which is a little bit of a drive and then we're going to go over the hoover dam with our feet keep in mind this is with our feet out of the helicopter i don't know how i got talked into this um but my feet are going to be dangling out of the helicopter taking shots we'll be filming and then we're going to hit the strip with all of the lights like, bro, this is going to be the hype beast sneakerheads, wet dream photo. What shoes should I something wear? Something limited, something bright. Yeah, you guys should comment what shoes I should wear because, damn, we got to put this video up pretty quick. So I could determine what we're going to, we have to wear. I have to dip here tomorrow, 430 to get there. So I got till 430 Pacific time to figure out what shoes I'm going to wear for this. What shoes do you think I should wear? Your Air Maxes, your Kanye's, those sample ones you had just re redone. Yeah, that would be a good one. What shoes do you think I should wear? Oh man, some uh, some ridiculous, some that you, some that people don't see every day. Some some that will make like somebody something crazy. Oh. I don't think he watches my channel. He don't. I don't <laughs> want to put the camera back on him. He doesn't watch my channel. I watch it enough. No. That my entire, or a good part of my sneaker collection is stuff you don't see every day. I know what you gotta wear. What do I gotta wear? The LeBrons you just picked up. Mm. You got to. You said something <laughs> crazy, something limited. Oh, he wants me to undies the LeBrons. <laughs> I was gonna leave to. that for the, I was, I'll be honest, oh. I was gonna leave that for the three year. Damn, bro. Is a LeBron though? Maybe I could wear multiple shoes. 
But that would suck if like in the middle of changing okay. a shoe, you're like, oh my shoe! <laughs> like that would, that would high key suck. That would high key suck. I don't know, man. So yeah, we're gonna be in a freaking helicopter tomorrow. All over Vegas. As always, I appreciate your support. And uh, I'll see you guys real soon, whether it's uh, Hong Kong, Melbourne, Toronto, DC, Atlanta, pop-ups, three years. It's gonna be fun. I don't know where I'm gonna sleep. Maybe I'll sleep like this. I have to tape one and then, all right, you rested enough. All right, now it's <laughs> your turn. That's how we're sleeping nowadays. I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Pray for me I don't fall out of helicopter.